Hi unicorns, welcome to my channel. My name is Angeli if you're new here. In today's video, I created a neon watermelon summer glow. And today's video is kind of crazy because these products that I used were insane. And you're actually gonna find out throughout the video. You'll see if I like them or not throughout the video. Let me know if you guys have gotten any of these products before because I'm really interested in knowing. So yeah, I'm not gonna ramble too much. If you're interested, then go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button to get notified every time that I post. Without further ado, I am going to start this video right now. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I got in this mini haul that I did at Ulta I got some pretty cool stuff and some stuff I thought I would never get before so I'm really excited to show you And I'm also gonna be using these products in this video today in today's video We're gonna be doing a neon summer look so I'm really excited to show you guys that the first thing I got was something that I never thought I would be able to get and that is I got the bomb ass brows kit by Desi Perkins. This is a benefit kit and I am obsessed with the packaging I mean, I'm just excited to display this. I never thought I would find something like this Well specifically this because I thought it was limited edition and at the time I didn't have money But now I saved up a little bit so I was able to get it and when you open it up It looks like this and it just has this in there. It's just like a pamphlet so in this box you get a fair amount of things for $60 I got it on sale with a 20% off at Ulta so you get the precisely my brows which is this one right here you get the highbrow which is this one right here you get a cute little brush and you get the 24-hour brow setter also the cabral which is this guy and you get the foolproof brow powder right here my favorite thing about this ever is that everything is pink i love pink so i'm really excited to keep this forever literally i'm going back to being a makeup hoarder because when i started getting into makeup i liked collecting makeup because of the packaging and then i just stopped doing that and i started buying makeup just to try it out and stuff but i'm getting back into the habit of buying it for the packaging because i just want the aesthetic okay don't judge me. So I was getting a lot of compliments doing my brows with this specific color which is number 5. So I'm going to be using this one right here. And I'm just going to start filling in my brows with this. I'm so excited and I'm kind of sad to use it too because I don't want it to run out. But I mean why just have it there and go to waste right? I might just want to um, keep the packaging anyways. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I don't want heavy brows, so I'm just going to try to fill in the blanks, really. I'm super into the fluffy brows for the summer. I think it looks so cute. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm going in with a very light hand. I want to make a video cleaning up all my makeup because I have some old makeup that I really need to get rid of just because it's gone bad and like the packaging ain't cute anyways. Ooh. I gotta throw out some makeup. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see that and give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in that type of video. Honestly, guys, can we just take a minute to appreciate my nails? I mean, how cute is this? Look, a little unicorn and ready for the summer. And honestly, I like that orange shade so much that it might just be my favorite color right now. And I'm not a fan of reds or orange, but that color, this color specifically, I'm obsessed with. Is it orange? Is it red? Let me know. So once I put on my foundation and everything, I'm gonna go with my 24 hour brow setter. But that's way later on in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow. I don't want to bore you with the same technique and I'm gonna skip to the next part. I'm gonna be using this yellow beauty blender. I think it's the cutest thing and it kind of matches our theme today which is neon. So I'm just gonna use my concealer which is a Too Faced Born This Way concealer just to clean up my brows. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend this all out. I'm 
I'm so excited to try this out and I hope you guys will give me an honest review on what you think about this palette down below in the comments but I got the Huda Beauty Neon palette this is an orange one so the first shade I'm gonna be using is this one right here you know the only thing that really threw me off about this palette and I didn't really want to get it for this one reason was that none of the colors are neon except for like I would say the end ones and this one, but not even like that really threw me off into getting this palette because I was not with it at all. So far it's blending so beautiful. I actually forgot to put on my face oil so I'm going to go in with my CEO Glow and my Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturizer. I just want to be glowy throughout the video because I'm really hating on my acne right now. What is new? You know it only goes away when I get facials done, but who has a coin to be buying makeup and facials at the same time? So watermelon is supposed to help with your acne according to the interweb. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. And I love Huda Beauty's foiled eyeshadows and there's three of them in here. So I'm actually really excited to try that out. And I am going to blend this out a little later at the top so no need to worry about any lines right now I just really want to get this color in here I want to go in with this pink right here and I'm using that same brush so I'm just packing this on and I'm just doing circular motions to get this color in here nothing insanely crazy this is a really pretty pink by the way. To sort of blend this all out, I'm gonna use this shade right here and then I'm gonna transition with this one up here. I wish Huda Beauty would like put me on their PR because I actually really like all their products and I use them often and they actually do really work. So if Huda Beauty ever comes across this video, or if you want to send it to them, let them know that I exist, okay? <laughs> I would love to review their products. I'm obsessed with how these shadows blend out. I highly recommend this palette. This neon palette is beautiful, especially now for the summer. I don't know about you guys, but I be going out like this all the time with crazy colors on my eyes, because why not? Now I'm grabbing a smaller brush and I'm going in with this shade right here. Can we just take a second to like appreciate this blend right here? Like who is that? Who sent her? Who is she? If you guys haven't seen my last video, which I will tag somewhere up here, or it'll be recommended to you, but I tried the world's worst palettes ever. <sighs> and it was so annoying, it was very tragic. Now the color I'm gonna go in with next is this one, and I wanna use my finger for this. I'm just dragging this across my lid. Whoa, that is beautiful. I'm shook. Okay, so like, I just need a second because I'm really shook at the pigmentation of this color. I haven't had a palette like this in a minute. Y'all know how long a minute is? Okay, so I don't think anybody can top this palette or like maybe this whole collection because I might have to try out the rest. Let me know if you guys want to see that down below as well. And give this video a thumbs up just because you're watching it. It lets me know if you guys like my video or not. So I would really appreciate it if you guys give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> this is a CoverGirl Get In Line liquid liner. And I don't want to really let it show. So I'm going to try to do the lightest that I can. not sure if I should do a wing but I feel like it's gonna cover everything so I'm just gonna ignore that thought alrighty guys I'm using my lash lashes these are in the style pretty savage I 
Alright, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got at Ulta. I did a mini haul, and I got this cute little bag with it. But I put everything in here so I can show you guys. This is just a benefit bag. I'm going to show you guys throughout the video what I got. But everything from here on out is um, what I got in the haul. So I got the Tutti Frutti Do You Foundation. And I'm so excited to wear this because it has watermelon in it. And I love the smell of watermelon right now in products. I'm not a fan of watermelon itself, but wow, it smells amazing in products. Since I've never used this product before, I'm not too sure how much I need from it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these two. So that's about one pump right there. And I'm going to start on this side of my face and work my way around. Wow, this smells so good. And this color matches me perfectly, but I am going to need like three pumps of this or so. This feels very lightweight, which I really, really appreciate. Okay, it's definitely oxidizing now. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's turning a little bit. Okay, so it did blend out really pretty, and it works with my foundation. Um, it actually works great with my concealer. Now, uh, I'm a little bit concerned because it was tingling my skin a little bit, and I still feel it just a little bit so I'm gonna hopefully finish this soon and take it right off um, you guys can watch that in my skincare Sunday video which will be going up but I'm definitely concerned about that sensation that I got I'm not sure if it's like the cucumber because it does have cucumber in here because I use products with watermelon in it and nothing ever happens to me really so I am so the next product that I picked up is a Too Faced Do You. This is a translucent radiant pearl powder and really I got it for the packaging. Merely, severely, but I found this so cute. So, Alright, so I'm just grabbing it right here. So that looks really nice so far it looks really nice on my skin and I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit just to see what it really does and if it's shimmery or anything like that so it definitely has a shimmer it's like a pink shimmer I'm not mad at it I think it looks really pretty and it gives you like a nice glow to your skin but it kind of washes me out a little bit too so I'm kind of concerned I don't know if you guys can see but it kind of changed like my whole foundation color and look which I don't like that at all. The next product I picked up is a MAC next to nothing bronzing powder and this is in the shade Canyon Dreaming. So I'm gonna go ahead with my favorite Tarte brush for bronzer and when I tested this out in the store it was so creamy and dreamy so hopefully it's the same effect and it most definitely is. I will say the Do You foundation kind of feels like the Born This Way, but I will say just a little bit lighter. Like it doesn't feel as heavy and as creamy as Born This Way does. This bronzer is really pretty, but a little bit goes a long way, and I may have done the most. I'm just going to blend this out with my Beauty Blender. That bronzer is a little bit more cool tone, so if you don't like that, I don't recommend that bronzer for you. And I'm going to go in with this... Too Faced Like My Melons Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo and it looks like this when you open it up it's the cutest thing ever so I'm thinking of mixing them both and seeing what happens oh that's really cute and it smells like watermelons how can you not love this like hello now I want to contour my nose and I'm gonna go back in with my MAC bronzer which is this one and just start contouring. I just try to follow my bone. 
she's pigmented but I like to kind of draw it out and see where I'm going with it and then I'll just like blend everything out once I see that I like it. I'm not even going to add highlight because there's so much glow going on right now that I can't even deal. For the inner corners of my eyes, I am really excited because I'm going to use this color right here. I'm using the Kat Von D Everlasting Go Go Liner. This is a lip liner, but I always use it as an eyeliner. Basically what I did underneath my eyes was repeat the colors that I used on the top and then go from like pink, orange to yellow. I want to add a little bit more blush because this blush is where it's at, okay? can never have enough blush. Anywho, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Whatever Walnut, wherever, wherever walnut. I've been saying whatever walnut. MAC Cosmetics, this is in the shade High Fructies. Now to finish off this look, I am so excited. I'm going to show you guys this Too Faced Do You Setting Mist. And it just says to shake it for 5 seconds and then spray it on your face. Okay, so I didn't notice that um, it kind of squirted pink everywhere. This is kind of weird though. Like, why are you doing that? Alright guys, so that is the finished look for today. I created a very dewy watermelon summertime glam. If you're not comfortable with color, then this look might not be for you, but I really hope you enjoy watching these kind of tutorials anyways. And if you do, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. It'll let me know if you guys like the video or not. And also, go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the bell notification button in order to get notified every time that I post a video. And let's become a part of the unicorn family by commenting down below what your favorite color is. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video, which will appear right here.